In this video I'm going to explain to you why every single rocket ever used to bring payloads into orbit has used multiple stages. You may have noticed before that rockets often have other smaller rockets attached to them. And you may have also noticed that these rockets also shed those smaller rockets during their flight. This process is known as staging. But you may ask yourself, wouldn't it be simpler to just make one big rocket? That way they don't have to waste these other rockets shedding them mid-flight and dropping them into the ocean just for them to be scrapped. If you built just one big rocket, then you wouldn't have to build as many rocket engines either. And you would be absolutely correct in thinking that. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why it doesn't work that way. As I mentioned in my rocket engine video, most of the weight of a rocket is fuel. In fact, when you look at a rocket, the vast majority of what you see is just the propellant tank. Only a small area of the rocket on top is designated to carry the payloads, or the things that you're putting into orbit. But as you burn through that fuel, you're left with now empty tanks that are additional weight that are no longer necessary. This is where the idea of staging comes into play. Instead of having one giant tank that will be useless after most of it is empty, you instead have multiple smaller tanks. And when those smaller tanks are all used up, you can simply drop them. If we use just one giant propellant tank, it wouldn't be able to carry nearly as much payload. We can prove this concept by calculating the abilities of a single stage versus a two-stage rocket. If we give both the single and the two-stage rocket the same engine characteristics and the exact same amount of fuel and the same targeted orbit, we can calculate how much payload those rockets would individually be able to take. So even though the two-stage rocket has added complexity and even weighs more than the single-stage rocket, it can carry twice the amount of payload as the single-stage rocket. There are two basic configurations of multi-stage rockets. The first configuration is known as parallel staging. It works by strapping other rockets to the side of the main booster. And during the separation phase of the launch, they're simply jettisoned away from the rocket like this. Oftentimes, these external boosters are solid fuel rockets. That means they can't be throttled or shut off once they're lit. As Jason stated in my rocket engine video, liquid fuel rockets have the ability to be throttled or shut off completely in order to enable the rocket to maneuver better. This allows the engineers to put the rocket into its correct orbit. That's why the last stages of these rockets are always liquid fuel rockets. The other configuration of multi-stage rockets is known as series staging. In this configuration, the rockets are simply placed one on top of the other. That means during the separation phase of the launch, not only do you have to separate the lower stages rocket engines and propellant tanks, but you also have to separate from the fairings that attach the lower stages to the upper stages. In other words, this is a configuration that adds even more complexity. And whenever you add more complexity to these launches, that has the potential to become a failure point in the future. One of the most advantageous aspects of series staging is the fact that they're all stacked on top of each other. This means there will be less aerodynamic drag than there would be in parallel staging. Despite the fact that staging is the only way we've ever been able to put a payload into orbit, it does have its disadvantages. There are three main disadvantages to multi-stage rockets. The first main disadvantage is that you're adding additional structural weight that wouldn't be there otherwise. You have to add engines, electronics, or avionics, and plumbing to every additional phase that you add to the rocket. Not only that, but you may be adding all of this additional weight for a stage that won't even be used until later on in the mission. Meaning that until it's actually used, it's pretty much dead weight. The second main disadvantage to multi-stage rockets is the added complexity of designing and building a rocket. Instead of having to design and build one set of sensors and avionics, plumbing and rocket engines, if you have a two-stage rocket, you now have to build two of those. And the third main disadvantage is the increased chance of failure of a mission. Whenever you have a multi-stage engine, you could fail at any points that wouldn't even exist for a single-stage booster. For example, you could fail at separation, you could fail at ignition of a second stage, or you could even have a collision during a separation phase. Every single one of these points are critical to the mission and one misstep could mean failure for the entire mission. Keeping in mind, each and every launch can cost up to hundreds of millions of dollars. And 
They're launching payloads on these rockets that also cost hundreds of millions of dollars. So every single point of potential failure could be disastrous. Using multi-stage rockets is extraordinarily costly and complex. Not only that, but the vast majority of these rocket stages are just scrapped after they're used. In 2006, Elon Musk stated that throwing away a multi-million dollar rocket stage after every flight makes no more sense than throwing away a 747 after every single flight. True to this philosophy, his company SpaceX was the first company to successfully launch a payload into orbit and return a single stage to be reused afterwards. To date, SpaceX has successfully landed 50 rocket boosters. This incredible achievement by SpaceX has reinvigorated the aerospace industry. And the Falcons have landed! Now even more companies plan on doing the same thing SpaceX is. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you want to see more aerospace engineering content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching, and Godspeed.